Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to use the percentage sampling transformation in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to use the percentage sampling transformation in SSIS. Percentage sampling transformation is especially used for data mining. So if you have a very large table and you need some small sample data from the very large data set, then you can use the percentage sampling transformation. So it can give you some random small data set from the large data set and small data set can be used for SSIS package development or for testing the SSIS packages. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance in the work database, I got a table email here and if you see right now this table contains 1500 records. But think of a scenario that a table contains maybe 1 million records or maybe 10 or 50 million records and you need some sample data for the package development or maybe some looking at the different stats of the data. Then in those scenarios you can get some small portion of the huge data set like maybe some percentage like 5% or 10% of the data and then you can insert that sample data set into another table. So for this particular example I will create the sample data set from the email table and will insert the data into the email underscore sample table. So let me just create a table here, drop and create to. Alright, so I can name the table as email underscore sample and I can copy this one and paste here and paste here. So what this particular code will do that it will check if the email underscore sample table exists then it will drop the table and then it will recreate the email underscore sample table. So let me open the SSIS package here. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will use today and if you want to execute some SQL queries on the database then you can use the execute SQL task here. So I can just drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window and maybe I can call this task as clean table and then I can right click and configure this particular task and under connection I can make a new connection here. I can make the connection to the work database. So we already have a connection here so I will use this connection and I can click on OK. Now under SQL statement, I can actually copy the this code from here and I can paste it inside the execute SQL task and click OK. OK. So now whenever the SSIS package will run, email underscore sample table will be recreated. And now I can use the data flow task where we can use the percentage sampling transformation. So I can connect the execute SQL task with the data flow task and now we can configure the data flow task. So we can double click on data flow task. Because we need to fetch the data from the SQL Server table, so we can use an OLEDB source here. So I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source into the data flow task. And now I can right click and configure the OLEDB source here. From data access mode, I will select SQL command here and I can select the data from the email table. So I can copy this query from here and paste it here. And if you go to the column, so you can see that these are the columns, those will be fetched from the SQL Server table. So I can click on OK. And now we can search percentage here. So there is a transformation inside other transforms percentage sampling. So you can just drag and drop the percentage sampling transformation into the data flow task. And then you can connect the OLEDB source with the percentage sampling transformation and you can right click and configure the percentage sampling transformation. So now under percentage of rows you need to provide a value like how many percentage of rows you want as a sample rows inside the sample output name. Okay. So maybe I can give a value as 20 that I want as 20% of the total rows and I want to export the 20% rows as the sample rows. Okay. And then this is the sample output name. So this is the default name sampling selected output and this is the default name for the sampling unselected output. So whatever number of records will come from the source. So for example, if 20% records will be treated as sample output, then the 20% data will come inside the this sampling selected output and then remaining 80% data will come inside the sampling unselected output. Then there is an option use the following random seed. So if you will select this option then whenever you will execute the SSIS package then it will always give you the same sample data. And if you want that whenever the SSIS package will run then it should give some random data not the same data then you can uncheck this particular option. So for this particular video I will uncheck the option and every time I need some different kind of sample data whenever the package will run and it will give me the 20% of the data. So I can click on OK and now I can just remove this percentage from here. Now I want to insert the sample data into the email underscore sample table 
and because I want to insert the data to a SQL Server table, so I can use an OLEDB destination here. Now I can connect the percentage sampling transformation with the OLEDB destination and from the output I need to select sampling selected output. Okay, and I can click on OK and now I can configure the OLEDB destination here. Under data access mode we need to select table overview fast load because it does the bulk insert and now inside the name of the table overview we can select the email underscore sample. So I think that table has not yet created so what I can do I can click on cancel and I can execute this particular query. So the email underscore sample table should have created now and now I can go back to the SSIS package and I can just go back to the OLEDB destination and now it should show me the email underscore sample table yeah so email underscore sample table is now available so I can select this table and I can go to the mapping so all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so this is good and I can click on ok so this SSIS package has been configured and now if you want to know like how many records those does not come into the sample data then how many are the records then if you want to see the records then what you can do you can just drag and drop the maybe drive column transformations here and then you can connect the percentage sampling with the drive column transformation. So the sampling unselected output will go here and you can see the number of records moving from the source to destination. So I can maybe start the execution of the SSIS package. So now you can see that 1500 records came from the source and inside the sampling selected output 287 rows got inserted and then remaining 1000 213 records got inserted to the drive column. So because there is no destination here so that's why these records are just coming from the percentage sampling transformation but they are not getting inserted anywhere because there is no destination here. So this is how you can you know you can select the data from the source and using the percentage sampling transformation you can select some percentage of the records and can insert into a sample table. So I can go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and if you want to see the data like what is the sample data that got inserted into the email underscore sample table so you can execute this query and you can see that the, this is the data that those get inserted into the email underscore sample table yeah so 287 records got inserted here so it will actually randomly select all different type of data available so that you can get an idea like what kind of data is there so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.